Welcome to my watercolor painting channel where I teach all the essential skills of watercolor and guide you through this beautiful medium. So on today's lesson we're gonna paint a penny bun. I have actually one real one uh, that I found on my morning walk and I thought it would be a great um, reference to look at the colors and the texture on this mushroom so let's start for this watercolor painting tutorial you can download line um, drawing and reference picture from the information below this video and you can transfer it onto your preferably good quality paper i'm using arches 300 gsm cold press and i'm gonna start my painting with wetting uh, some areas on the mushroom like the um, stem uh, and then the cap of the mushroom with just water so at the moment i'm just applying water i'm using my brush size number eight or it can be size number six or ten whatever you feel comfortable working with and uh, the size of the paper is a5 and uh, uh, like I said before I'm just applying some water to my mushroom not too much water so you don't have to have puddles but you are sort of glazing this first layer and you are allowing the water to go inside the paper but yeah no puddles as you notice that I left um, area in the middle untouched so it's still dry we're gonna work this way we're gonna paint a cap and a stem at the same time and then we, whilst uh, this area is going to be dry we're going to proceed and paint the middle area once we applied water to our two uh, areas on the mushroom i premixed on my palette blue hue and a little bit of prussian blue and i'm applying it to the bottom and sort of uh, right hand side of my mushroom and also at the same time i feel like i want to make it a little bit more bluish so i even added a little bit more of ultramarine in this mixture so and on the right hand side i added more of the blue hue and as you can see I'm not really scared of using really bluey color on the white stem um, at the same time while it's still wet I'm just applying a little bit of raw amber on the stem and I'm constantly looking at my reference picture and I'm just seeing that uh, the the actual stem um, has brown light brown colors on top and then as it goes down down, it actually uh, whitens and um, so I want to sort of um, follow the reference picture but at the same time um, make it a little bit darker for myself um, once I applied uh, some of the layers of my washes I'm with my clean brush just making them smooth together and I'm just using my brush and I'm sort of moving it um, in different direction to make it just evenly covering my first layer. After I finished painting my first layer on the stem we're gonna proceed and paint the cap. So for the cap I'm gonna be using yellow oak mixed with cadmium orange. I also touched a little bit of raw sienna but it wasn't much just a little bit. I want my first layer on the cap to be um, really bright yellowy with a little bit of orange in it and um, as you can see I'm applying there and uh, we already have water there so I would say that there was a little bit too much water for my liking that's why I'm like moving my paint with a brush to the right hand side and then I will probably will be collecting some more uh, water out of it or just leave it to sort of soak uh, inside the paper. With my clean brush I'm moving water sideways and also at the same time I'm collecting that water and then moving down to my stem so I want to add more brown color to the stem of my mushroom so for this I will premix yellow oak mixed with raw amber and a little bit of light red to get this nice brown color added to my stem and I'm going to be using this color combination to apply to the stem of my mushroom to sort of middle section and 
um, the top of the stem and I'm applying them in a, in a manner where I I'm trying to paint uh, vertical slightly curved lanes that replicate the parts and um, on the reference picture and because our paper is wet all the lights are slightly bleeding and um, because it's already going to the um, stage where it's becoming dump the bleeds are not very very saturated for the cup while it's still wet I'm using color combination of burnt amber mixed with light red and you can see it's very saturated really nice color combination and I am painting the cap the top of my mushroom so I am uh, deciding that my light is coming from the right hand side and uh, I decided to have my right hand side slightly lighter so as you can see I premixed a raw amber more to the right area and I decided to make the uh, the left area slightly darker so I used more um, of the burnt amber which is a lot darker more concentrated in color and I'm even dropping there some blue color so I'm using blue hue just to drop in some areas that color um, and remember our cap and our stem at this stage is still quite wet so we are uh, making all the adjustments while it's still wet and for the cap I'm adding purple lake mixed with Prussian blue just to the uh, two uh, sides of my mushroom uh, of the mushrooms cap so as you can see on my palette I'm pre-mixing um, Prussian blue mixed with purple lake and with the tip of my brush I'm just adding it to some areas on the cap and uh, when it will go down slightly the paint will go down I'm gonna wash my brush dry it against the tissue and do lifting the pigment you see that I'm removing this excess paint and I'm removing color from the area where I will have a highlight so where it will be lighter than any other areas on the cap if you feel that it's gone too dry I mean on the stem on the mushroom just use wet uh, brush to go over and just with clean uh, but slightly wet brush just uh, cover all the area with water like I said my at the moment is slightly damp still so it's an ideal time to add more vertical lines and this time I will be painting blue lines and I will be using Prussian blue and also with a little bit touch of emerald green so I will be using just the tip of my brush and on the right hand side uh, towards the bottom of my mushroom I'm just placing some of the vertical lines uh, repeating the shape of my mushroom and then as I go up I'm using more of a um, little bit more like emerald blue there so on the greener side towards the cap and now I would like to create more volume to the bottom of my mushroom so I'm going to be using emerald green mixed with a little bit of Prussian blue and I will be placing this shadow area uh, not completely on the edge of my mushroom which will create uh, really nice uh, tonal values and uh, I will be then using my brush and I will be trying to smooth all the, all the layers and remove uh, excess paint from the areas where I don't want them to be. I left my painting to dry out 100% and I left it for a couple of hours and then I'm returning to it and it's time to paint our middle section it's the place underneath the mushrooms cap so I started using a watered down uh, Payne's grey mixed with a little bit of Prussian blue and as you can see I'm using my brush size number six and I'm just placing very watered down color combination and I applied a little bit more of the color on the right hand side and uh, on the left hand side also on the left hand side I immediately uh, added a little bit more of purple lake um, and with my clean brush I'm trying to create a, like a gradient in between uh, all these places that I put paint at and um, 
with my clean brush i'm trying to just move the paint to the right and then to the left and then once it's my first layer is quite wet i will carry on adding more colors as you can see the highlight is sort of in the middle of the mushroom and now it's time to add a little bit of yellow but it's a cold yellow so for this one i used yellow pile and as you can see i'm just dropping the paint on top of it on top of my mushroom on the left hand side on the right hand side and then i'm just just uh, placing it where I see on the reference picture the yellow is um, looking through that dark blue dark purple color so at this stage I am merging together those paints that I've applied so the yellow color the purple the blue and then once it's all uh, getting a little bit damper I'm applying even more color so as you can see on my palette I use a bit more of purple uh, lake mixed with blue hue and I'm placing it right underneath the um, mushroom caps but not everywhere I don't place it in the highlight area just on the right and on the left area and I'm allowing it to bleed and then at the same time I'm using a little bit more of emerald green mixed with just a little bit of that purple mixture and I'm applying it at the bottom of my um, mushroom cup. And then one, once it's all uh, worked together, I'm just with my clean brush, but a little bit wet, so it's a little bit damp. I'm just merging and like blending all the layers together. And then once I've done it, I again add some more colors. So I'm using yellow pile and I'm dropping some more yellow color on my uh, mushroom cap. I mean underneath the cap. I left my painting to dry and now it's dry so let's work on our stem and uh, I'm gonna be pre-mixing a little bit of light red, yellow oak and raw amber to work on my stem. So I'm using my brush size number six and I'm working wet on dry so the painting is 100% dry. As you can see I'm just placing in, uh, some brush strokes in the middle of my mushroom and I I'm working wet on dry and uh, some of the areas that I place the color is very concentrated but then I wash my brush and I'm blending it together and I'm applying water so this area I want to be quite dark but at the same time I want to apply and play with colors in this area where the the mushroom stem has that brown color and I don't want to put this brown equally so I want to create nice uh, color combinations on that uh, stem and uh, look I'm constantly looking on my reference picture and I'm just starting from the left hand side and I'm going to be working my way to the right hand side see I've just added some cadmium yellow uh, on the right hand side and uh, then with a clean brush I'm just merging it together blending and pulling all the color down and as you can see, as I'm going down, it's hardly any paint, just a little bit of water. But I'm repeating <clears throat> the pattern on my mushroom and uh, it has like all the vertical lines across the stem. And I'm trying to replicate this on my mushroom. And then towards the area, I'm just creating a little bit more... Uh, darker lines and I'm using only burnt amber to paint Once I finished with the stem of my mushroom, I'm moving to my cup and I'm pre-mixing cadmium orange, light red and burnt amber to get this rich saturated color. Also, I'm using a slightly smaller brush. This one is size number four. Um, so I am using my brush and I'm working wet on dry and I'm placing quite saturated color uh, on the left hand side, leaving slight gaps. So I want to apply it to the shadow area on the mushroom first. And then I'm washing my brush and then with a clean 
thin brush I'm just like merging it together blending with uh, blending it with previous layer and then just with water I am also wetting the right hand side of the mushroom and then at the end I'm just applying wet on dry uh, just to the corner I'm applying more of that color mixture that I mixed and it's quite saturated in color I'm uh, scooping some more and I'm just uh, charging this part point so I'm charging this uh, right hand side and then I'm washing my brush and then I want to sort of blend it uh, the whole cup together and it will become all wet and uh, nice to work with so now I'm pre-mixing paints gray mixed with my uh, mixture cadmium orange burnt amber and light red and I'm placing it in some areas on my cap and as you can see it creates really dark saturated color and I'm just leaving it to work a little bit and I'm moving on uh, to my um, stem and I will be painting all the dirt and piece of leaves that stuck to my mushroom and I'm using the same color combination so it's basically just paint gray mixed with burnt amber and I'm just looking at my reference picture and I'm trying to replicate it as well and I'm also keeping in mind that I want to create the sense of volume at the end of the mushroom so I'm placing my sort of dots and these uh, dirty little pieces in the way that they are uh, wider in the middle uh, of the area and then it's coming down because the, um, because the shape of the mushroom is actually shrinking a little bit down at the bottom and then I'm not very bothered about some of the paints are bleeding in one another because we just work with a top of mushroom and um, I'm just using some paints gray just to place it so mainly I'm just using two colors here burnt amber and paints gray and then a little bit of light red just to create that uh, sense of mushroom just being picked up from the soil And then I add the same color combination here and there on the stem and uh, I am so I'm using paints gray and burnt amber just to place some vertical lines all across that damp part of our mushroom and also I painted round that um, place where the mushroom was eaten and then I'm just adding some light red at the same time and as you can see it's still quite wet you see all the bleeds are like growing and at the same time using my brush I decided to add some roots of the mushroom that are uh, just placed on uh, the bottom of my mushroom and I'm using my brush size 00 just to paint them very nicely and I'm using color combination of light red mixed with burnt amber and you can add uh, paints gray and just place them unevenly
So I waited a little bit longer for the top for my cap and then with a clean but slightly damp brush I'm just removing excess paint all the bleeds that I don't like how they're merging together so I'm just refining all the lights area on the cap and then all refining all the areas on the stem so sometimes it's good to wait till the stage where it's not so wet actually lifting the pigment works much better if the paper is damp and it's like on the border of going slightly like drying out so it's the ideal time to have um, to have all the lifting the pigment done so as you can see that it's worked really well on the, uh, on the areas where I decided to lift the pigment so I remove all the excess paint and also created the sense of volume the sense of shape that my mushroom isn't flat and now I left my painting to dry again and it's the time to work on the middle section underneath the cap so what I'm using I'm using paints gray mixed with a little bit of emerald green and uh, I applied it with the brush with a really thin brush by basically just made a line thin line and then with a bigger brush um, but wet brush I am just blending it together making it smooth and then dropping some more paint just right on the border and then just with water I am ev making it even and like spreading it all across the area and then I'm placing that color uh, on the right and on the left so it's basically pines gray mixed with just a little bit of emerald green I also placed just a little bit of purple lake and uh, mixed with pines gray so as you can see I just want to replicate how it's looking on my reference picture and it has slight purple color in the middle and then yellow area and then blue area so i'm pre-mixing a little bit more color so i used burnt amber mixed with pines gray and i also used a little bit of prussian blue so it's quite dark when the cap merges to the stem uh, but because this area uh, all painted it's all damp it's actually merging and all the bleeds are working well together and I really like the effect that I achieved I am coming back to the area and I'm using more of that color combination paint gray mixed with Prussian blue you can use a little bit of emerald green there but it has to be quite dark compared to the rest of the mushroom and then I'm also trying to place the same color right underneath the cup and I'm allowing it to bleed and then if I don't like I can remove it slightly with my wet brush and then I'm using lemon yellow and uh, while it's still wet I'm just a little bit uh, making it more grayish uh, so on my palette on the uh, right hand side you can see that I mixed yellow pale with a little bit of pines gray just to make it less bright and I'm also adding this color to my mushroom so the middle section of our mushroom is 100% dry so the stem so it's time to add more details to our stem all those vertical lines so I pre-mixed a little bit of light red mixed with burnt amber burnt sienna you can use and uh, a little bit of yellow oak uh, so and I'm using my brush size 00 from ProArte and I'm just making those lines and um, I am going all the way and I'm gonna make all the lines a uh, little bit darker on a shadowy area and as I will be moving to the right hand side where the highlights and uh, half tones they will become slightly lighter because of the light but at this time I'm just working with a shadow area so my um, brush strokes are quite dark I don't want all my brush strokes to look the same and I am just placing them unevenly some of them are darker some of them are lighter and as you can see on the reference picture it's uh, it's the same and then I will be swapping to slightly bigger brush size number six but I will be using just the tip of that brush just to paint slightly thicker brush strokes on the mushroom stem and I will be using darker 
colors on the right hand side towards the bottom and then in the middle of that stem the colors will be slightly lighter as you can see i'm using a little bit of pines gray with prussian blue but it's very watered down and i'm mixing it together with burnt amber and raw amber and a little bit of yellow oak and i'm just playing with all these color combination combinations and uh, trying to replicate what's on my reference picture Let's add final details to our mushroom cup. So I pre-mixed burnt amber with paints gray and a little bit of light red. And I'm using my brush size 00 from ProArte. And I'm applying these brush strokes all the way uh, on my uh, cup. And I am keeping in mind that if I want to paint over shadowy area, I will use more concentrated mixture. And if I will be going to the highlights, it's a very weak combination of this color. Just to not lose the tonal values, the contrast on my cap. And then with my brush, I'm just refining the area of the top of my mushroom and the bottom. So I'm just painting it with line and I'm using the same color combination burnt amber paint gray light red as you notice that I created a shadow area from the right hand side and the left hand side and sort of in the middle uh, it's a highlight so I'm making sure that I'm not overworking this area and I'm not covering it with really dark brush strokes let's add some more details to the place underneath the cap so i'm using my brush size 00 to make some more details and i am painting wet on dry and i am placing 
dark blue spots uh, in the darker areas underneath the mushrooms well we painted them before and I'm using just Prussian blue mixed with paint gray and also simultaneously I'm using um, yellow pile mixed with a little bit of yellow oak or raw amber or you can mix uh, Prussian blue with raw amber just to make this dark yellow but like slightly dirty yellow color uh, spots on the mushroom so as you can see that I'm trying to not cover uh, all the highlights but at the same time I'm trying to add details to the whole area of the mushroom using my tiny brush and then moving down, I'm just using Pines Grey mixed with Prussian Blue and the brush size number 6, but just the tip of the brush, just to add some bits of soil to my mushroom and just uh, add more interest to my mushroom stem. And as you can see that I'm placing the bigger spots uh, on the bottom and as I'm going up, my spots are slightly smaller. And then just to add more definition to my stem, I'm using my brush size 00 and I'm using light red uh, just to uh, paint some uh, brown brush strokes all across the mushroom stem. And I'm, as you can see, if you squint your eye, I'm making some of the areas a little bit darker than others. And I just want to add more details to my mushroom because it's quite it has quite a lot of detail so I want to paint and um, to make the area on the left of the mushroom a little bit darker so I added a bit more of that brown mixture and then at the same time I added a little bit more of pines gray as well I let it 100% dry again and these are going to be my final details. So I'm using my brush size 00 and I'm adding those brush strokes uh, using burnt amber and Payne's grey and I am placing them in a shadowy area first and then I'm pulling the color slightly down so it's more concentrated in this area but then uh, as you go across the mushroom it's actually a little bit fading but then I'm adding quite boldly colors on the right hand side just in that place and um, I just want to add more details more definition I also covered that hole on my mushroom I just didn't like how it looked and um, we're gonna add these final details to the stem and uh, I'm just uh, moving down now and as you can see I'm placing me my brush strokes unevenly but at the same time I'm constantly keeping in mind okay where is my shadow where is my half tone where the highlight so keeping this in mind you can actually create a nice shape and uh, your object won't be flat it will have volume i let my area underneath the cap to dry out and then i'm coming back with my brush size 00 and i'm using prussian blue mixed with a little bit of purple like just to add some more details and paint these dots on top of the dots that i painted before uh, it just creates nice details i'm do i'm not gonna add the uh, the same concentrated dots all over just in some places if you like my teaching style consider joining me on patreon where i upload new watercolor tutorials weekly and i think we're done i hope you enjoy watching my tutorials and hopefully you try to complete it yourself like subscribe and comment this video if you would like to see more videos from me in the future see you next time bye